Now, the question is why sampling is important. Actually, everyone who has worked on a research project, they know that the resources are limited. Time, money, and people never comes in unlimited supply. For that reason, most research projects aims to gather the data from a sample of people rather than the population. Here the question arises, what is a population? A population is a group of individuals that share a common connection and the sample is a subset of a population. Now, uh, when a researcher go for the research, uh, they have to analyze the data and they have to give the outcomes. For the outcomes, they will, they will choose any population. And uh, if, he, if he go any population, he cannot take the whole population, then, they, then the researcher will choose uh, the samples. Uh, of that population. So uh, this this is all about my topic and, and the topic is a probability sample. Now here I will discuss the probability, what are the probability samples which are used uh, in uh, research, uh, used by the researchers. So uh, the next. Okay, now. What is basically the probability sample? Actually, here you can, you can see the definition. Probability sampling is a sampling technique where in the samples are gathered in a process that gives all the individuals in the population equal chance of being selected. Here in the example, you can see the whole people. This is the population. And when, when we will go for the sample, we will choose randomly. In probability, there is a chance. So every person or every uh, uh, individual in the population having the uh, equal chances of occurrence. So this is basically the probability sample. So here we can, we have selected the three peoples in the whole, the whole population. Then this is the probability, uh, probabilities, pro probable sample. If we take the types of probability sampling, there are the random sampling, systematic random sampling, stratified random, random sampling and cluster random sampling. And uh, I will discuss first the random sampling. What is the random sampling? A random sam sample is a subset of a statistical population in which each member of the subset has an equal probability of being chosen. A simple random sample is meant to be an unbiased representation representation of a group. It means that in uh, a random sampling, every person can, uh, or every uh, individual or every product in the population can uh, get the, unbiased representation, fair representation of a group. There will be no favoritism. There, there will be no anything uh, 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 occurs. And in, in the random sampling, every uh, person, if, if there is a person in the population, then every person will be uh, having the equal chances of being selected. Uh, the most common ex example is a lottery method. When there, there is a, a lottery system, then uh, every person uh, can get the equal chances of being selected. So uh, this is the random sampling. You can say in the, in the example, the whole population and the three are the selected. So this is basically uh, the random sample. Now the uh, random sample example. Now here you can see, here you can, uh, you can see that the population uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This is the best, we have this all the population and we have selected two, five, eight and 10. This is a random sampling. Uh, in which every person uh, every person can be selected but randomly we have selected the two five eight eight and the ten uh, person for our sample uh, so then they will uh, choose this this sample for, for any uh, getting results and something else so now there is a second uh, second is a systematic random sampling systematic random sampling is also uh, the random sampling but with this technique, uh, the sampling, uh, the selection will be the systematic. And there is an equal chance probability selecting each unit from within the population when creating the sample. Now, how systematic? Before we were, we were uh, selecting uh, uh, randomly, uh, everyone was uh, having the equal chances. Uh, uh, but here we have a selection, right? Here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, first we will choose three. This red one, this is a three. And how we'll make systematic, we can go uh, uh, three, four, five, six. Now, after the interval of three, after the interval four, five, uh, three, four, five, interval of three, we'll choose the uh, six. And then uh, after the interval of, again, three, six, uh, seven, eight, we'll choose nine. This is how we will choose our systematic sampling. And there is another example of a systematic, systematic sampling like 
the the same population is there from 1 to 12 people are there we have choose here two and after interval of uh, 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 interval of three like two three four we'll choose five and then six seven eight we'll choose eight and then eleven this is how we will choose a systematic sampling now there is a stratified random sampling now if we if we talk about the straight a stratified random sampling this is also known as a proportional random sampling this is a probability sampling technique where the subjects are initially initially grouped into different classifications such as age social economic status and gender basically the stratified uh, random sampling the researcher uh, will uh, make the strata of the population first here uh, one strata is the old person second strata is like uh, under the 30 to 40 uh, age group and here are the uh, uh, for example uh, 5 to uh, 15 years so in a stratified random sampling then the first researcher will uh, 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 will do the state will make the state of first like uh, grouping of the same age uh, socioeconomic status or the gender wise uh, the uh, uh, will be, will make make the state uh, strata and then uh, uh, we, uh, they will they choose uh, the, the samples like here you can see all the population but uh, the samples are like this 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 so this is a stratified sampling. Now here you can understand more about the stratified random sampling. Now see, researcher have made the strata like he has chosen one, ten, twelve in a one strata. Means this is one strata or one group. Then four, two, four, six in other strata. Seven, eight, nine in other strata. And three, six, three, three, five, nine in other strata. Now from this strata the there is an equal chance of of strata random sampling uh, the researcher can choose any uh, group or any person or any any anyone in, in in there is an equal chance in this strata so he has chosen 10 in the second strata or second group he has chosen the two in the third he has chosen uh, eight and in uh, uh, this one he chosen the the five so this this is a stratified sampling we can we can uh, uh, say this is the stratified random sampling. Now, there is a cluster random sampling. Now, the cluster random sampling is uh, uh, done when the simple random sampling is almost impossible because there is a larger size of population. Just imagine uh, that when the random sampling population, the question is the entire population of Asia. When the researcher have the entire population of the Asia, then it is uh, very difficult to use a simple random sampling and choose the randomly uh, the, the the samples what the researcher will do researcher will divide the, the population into the clusters now here you can see this is the one cluster one two here you can see three four is another cluster five six another cluster seven eight is another cluster nine eight and another is, is cluster and eleven two this is another uh, 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 cluster now what happened the researcher will choose like here he has choose this cluster in in the clusters cluster sampling uh, the all the member of the uh, population in the cluster will be chosen as a sample now here there are two members so the, uh, the, the this cluster will be chosen as a sample and the 11 12 this cluster will be chosen as a sample here so we have uh, two sample clusters in in this uh, uh, example now example of cluster cluster uh, random sampling is in uh, uh, there is an organization intends to survey to analyze the performance of smartphone across the germany country they can divide the entire country's population into cities now the cities will be the clusters and the select cities with the highest population and researcher what what researcher will do he will there will there are uh, almost uh, if there are 10 uh, cities then the the researcher will choose the highest uh, population uh, cities and also filter those using the mobile devices so this is all about the cluster sampling now the question is uh, as the, 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 there is some familiarities in the uh, in the stratified and cluster sampling so i have a, i have a, a giving the differences here now to understand more the stratified and cluster sampling now this is a stratified sampling what the researcher will do like this is a one stra strata sorry here there uh, is a, a second strata and here is a 
third strata means in stratified sampling the researcher having the three strata and he has chosen this 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 in in one strata there is a equal chances of occurrence of any uh, 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 individual or anything in the in the uh, in the in the uh, population in in the strata so randomly choosing this red one this yellow one this this one this one and here he is choosing the two so this is basically the stratified sampling now if we if we uh, talk about the cluster sampling now there are one two three four five six so cluster having uh, uh, made by the researcher now in this cluster the researcher have chosen the second and the fourth now the, this cluster will be completely wholly selected as a sample and the fourth one will be wholly selected so in this all the uh, cluster uh, population so there are only the two two clusters are are, are being uh, made by the researchers so the uh, so the researcher will collect the data from these two two samples so now what are the advantages of probability sample uh, basically it is a cost effective this process is both cost effective and time uh, effective and the larger sample can be chosen on the basis of number assigned to the sample so choosing random numbers from the more significant sample so basically it is a cost effective so because there is a huge huge population we cannot uh, go for the huge so the probability sample is a cost effective so it reduces the cost so this is the one advantage it is a simple and straightforward uh, number two, it is a probability sampling is an easy of a sampling. It, it does not involve complicated process. As you said, it's an easy process. It, it is a quick and save time and time save can be analyzed and data and the draw conclusions. Now there is a non-technical. The method is the sim so sampling does not require any technical knowledge because of its simplicity. So it does not require any intricate expertise and it, it can be, be done by, through, by the, all the people who do some research or do some work of research. So it is a non-technical, it is a simple, it is a cost, a cost advantage. So this is all about the advantages of probability sample. So thank you very much. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you everyone for listening.